Okay, so um, a third example, another special case we call the infinite diffusion couple. Infinite diffusion couple. Couple means two, right? Okay, so let's say we have two dilute alloys of B in A. Two dilute alloys of solute B atom within matrix of A atoms. We join them closely together, heat them up, them up to a finite temperature. And our two pieces, piece one, piece two, each of it have concentration C1, C2, they are different. If they are the same, the diffusion doesn't really, I mean, in terms of interdiffusion doesn't really happen, right? Okay. So if C1 and C2 is not the same, and for simplicity, assume which side is higher initially. Left side C1 is higher, C2 is lower, and they are constant. Okay, for simplicity, this is our original concentration profile, the change with concentration with respect to location, and and assume also they are kind of within a single phase region, which means eventually they should be homogeneous, completely uniform, right? Over time, for simplicity also, assuming downhill diffusion going from high concentration to low concentration, okay? Over time, do you see this happening? Single phase, but uh, a little bit of on the left from one piece would be go to the two piece at T1. And the time goes longer, more would flow and it becomes something like this. Make sense? Of course, T0 smaller than T1, smaller than T2. But to get a analytical or mathematical description, we still have to simplify our problem. Again, making assumptions. And then by now you should have know what I'm assuming. We are assuming the diffusion coefficient would stay constant so that we have simplified the second order differential equation. We also assume infinite diffusion couple, which means these couple are relatively very long compared with our diffusion phenomena, which means the far ends are not really impacted by the diffusion. Even though we said eventually over billions of years it becomes uniform, but within the time scale that we are considering, here it doesn't change, here it doesn't change. Okay? So our fixed second law, we can simplify it to something like this, which we know before, and then the initial condition. What is our initial condition? To the left side, we have constant uh, concentration of C1. To the right side, we have constant concentration of C2. That's our so-called uh, initial condition when T equals zero. And then what about boundary condition? Boundary condition is what we just mentioned. Uh, when we are very, very far away from the interface, the local concentration stays at uh, C2 for the positive, you see, positive x goes to positive infinity stays at uh, C2. When x goes to negative infinity, the concentration stays at uh, C1. Make sense? So this is our boundary condition. And then once we plug it in, the solution would uh, take the form of something like this. Of course, we are not mathematical class. We will just skip the detail, okay? The overall concentration depends on both location and the time, and it's a function of two terms added. One is C1 plus C2 over two, that is what? Your initial average concentration minus a C1 minus C2, what is that? The concentration difference divided by two times a so-called error function term. That error function term depends on both location and time. And what is that error function? Okay, error function is error function of a z equals integration from zero to z 
exponential term y squared dy if y is our variable okay so let me ask you this based on this error function integration it's a fixed integration from zero to some place. What if z equals zero? From zero to some place, but what if that some place is zero? Are you integrating anything? No, so that error function is zero when z equals zero. Okay, and then when z goes to positive infinity, when z goes to positive infinity, which means we are integrating from something. When z goes to positive infinity, and locally I'm essentially adding very little stuff. And uh, mathematically, people can prove the error function would look something like this. When z goes to positive infinity, my error function doesn't shoot off the roof. It's approaching a constant value of positive one when error function goes to negative one uh, negative sorry inside goes to neg z goes to negative infinity the error function goes to negative one that's so-called error function so we have mathematically described the solution this is how it's going to look like for given location at a given time I can calculate the local concentration profile. And uh, it doesn't surprise you that uh, this shape looks similar to error function shape. Make sense? Okay, so this is for the so-called infinite diffusion couple. 